this five foot tall dude, I swear he's like, he's the regional manager or something at my job. He's like, Eraisto, like a great person is like what they say, you know, the little translation is great person, meaning he's like, he's above the general person or whatever. He's like five feet tall and you're supposed to use keigo towards him and shit, you know, respectful Japanese, extra formal Japanese. Anyways, he's been in the store where I work my part-time job in this restaurant like every day lately. And anytime he's in there, it's just like super tight because then my manager's like, oh, make sure you use Kegel toward this guy. Make sure you're super respectful. Make sure you help him out. Even if he doesn't say hi to you, make sure you go and you bow to him and you say hello every day. You know, just the Japanese culture shit that kind of foreigners tend to end up having issues with here in Japan. <clears throat> he's been there like every single day lately. Whenever I'm working with him, he calls me Jimmy-chan. Chan. If you guys know what Chan is, it's like, you say San as in like Mr. or Mr. like Jimmy-san. Maybe like Mr. Jimmy, but if you say Chan, it's like makes you look like a kid or makes you look cute or like girly or something like that. And I guess it kind of can be like endearing, but also it kind of feels like he's making fun of me and he always calls me Jimmy Chan. And then whenever he needs to get past me, this dude's like five feet tall, whenever he needs to get past me or something like that, he like grabs me by the arm and pulls me. And if there's one way to piss me off, to send me into fight or flight mode, as fast as possible, it is people trying to move me out of the way. Guys, if you need, if you ever see me in public and for some reason we're in a large crowd and you need to get past me, tap me on the shoulder, say excuse me, I will move out of the way, I'll let you through. That's it. You do not need to grab me and physically try to push me or pull me out of the way. Bag me up, fellas. When someone is walking past you and they put their hand on your shoulder and try to like push you a little bit to get past you, that shit pisses you the fuck off, does it not? <clears throat> And he does that every single time and he goes a step further and he like grabs me by my bicep and pulls me whenever he needs to get past me. And it annoys the fuck out of me. And then he's commenting on like everything I'm doing. And then my boss is angry because my boss, he's get, commenting on everything my boss is doing and then my boss just fucking gets angry and then comments on all, then fucking gets it to me. And he's up my ass. Anyways, the other day I'm going into work for like the fifth day in a row, my part-time job here in Japan. I've been trying to keep up with his YouTube videos. But I don't even have any time because I'm in school and I'm in work and I'm, I'm in a part-time job. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? And I'm all bummed out and shit. I'm like, I want to make another YouTube video today, but I don't have time because I have to go to my fucking dumbass part-time job that has been shit lately and this fucking midget has been being an asshole to me. What do I do? Right? And as I'm going in, I'm just thinking, fuck, dude, I just want to make videos. I just want to keep doing, just talking shit, talking about wieners and buttholes all over YouTube and shit. But I got to go into this part-time job working in this restaurant and have this little midget pull me around and make me act make me fucking feel like his bitch again and then I had a thought you know what bro it could be worse it could be worse because it could be better the reason that I was thinking so hard about how badly I wanted to do these YouTube videos and how badly I need to make more content which of course I want to do that anyways, but the reason the last week or so that I've just been obsessed with it, I'm like, I gotta do this, I gotta, I gotta make this shit work. It's because every single day I go into work, I'm like, fucking shit, I hate this. I need to make more money off YouTube so I don't have to do this anymore. Dude, if I was comfortable with my job, if I liked it, I'm sure I'd still be doing YouTube, of course. But do you think I'd be in this fucking frenzy of being like, dude, I gotta make this shit work. I gotta, dude, I gotta stay afloat with this YouTube shit, man. I gotta keep creating, which is what I really wanna do long term, anyways. And this guy being an asshole to me at work is honestly just motivation. That is fuel for me to go harder. It depends how you look at things. Because if I was my regular beta bitch self, which I am a lot of times, like I was for weeks and not realizing it when I go into this job, I sit there and I fucking jerk off with my tears and I cry about this guy bossing me around and I'm just like, man, this sucks. I hate my job. I don't have any time to make videos. I feel like a bitch. Konbanwa. And then this dude is being an asshole to me and I feel even worse and then I don't get to fucking make videos for you guys and I feel even worse. But then one day, I don't know what happens. I must have had a sudden rush of testosterone or something through my body. And I was just like, wait. The reason that I'm in the little free time that I do have right now, the reason that I'm going so hard for this past week or so, trying to build connections online, trying to keep my online presence, trying to make more videos, trying to interact with everybody supporting me, thank you guys. 
is because every time I go on to work, I feel like I want to fucking kill myself because I hate it so much. I'm like, wow, that's some great motivation right there. And it would be worse, actually, if I was comfortable there, if I liked it. Because let's be honest, I don't want to work in a, a part-time job in a restaurant for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who wants to do that? And even though I'm not going to do that regardless anyways, because I'm not going to be in Japan forever and I'm going to be graduating college soon, etc., etc., etc. I don't want to fucking do that even for the next year that I'm here, dude. I want to, within the next year, I want to be full-time doing YouTube. I want to be full-time making videos for the boys. And, and the ladies, and the ladies. You guys know what's going on, so just motivation. If you guys have a dream, if you guys have a goal, and your current life sucks and you want to do something else, and maybe you're going into your part-time job thinking, oh man, just another day that I don't get to do, I don't get to pursue my passion. I'm just bummed out. I'm just, and you're feeling shitty and you're feeling like a beta, beta back bitch like I was. Think of it this way. It would be worse if you liked the job more. Because then you wouldn't be in this frenzy to pursue your dreams and work on something else. You might get settled. You might feel content there. And at the end of the day, that is not what we want, do we? Even if it's a good part-time job, which I've had great part-time jobs before that I liked and I had good times at, you can get stuck into that cycle. And I actually remember Something that my brother told me when I first got my first serving job, I was making pretty damn good money. I've talked about it many times on this channel. I got my first serving job making good cash and my older brother told me, do not get caught in the cycle of being a server forever because it gets a lot of people. And I remember thinking like, yeah, yeah, like whatever. Anyways, I don't think I exactly got caught in this cycle. I, I did end up serving for like seven years or something like that. What's up? Good evening, brother. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, man? Did What's I see up? you yesterday? I don't know. Yesterday? Where, where were you yesterday? I was uh, with Little Pump. Little Pump? Little oh, Pump. no, I wasn't there, man. Shout out to Hi, Little man. Pump. Though. What's up? What's your name? How are you? What's Marine. Up? Marine? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? I'm from America. How about you? From France. France? Oh, yeah. wonderful. Paris. Oh, Paris. Cool. I'd love to go to Paris. How about you? You're from France as well? No, I'm from Italy. Italy, Italy. Italian guy. Oh, yeah, How did y'all meet each other? Are you dating? Yeah, no, oh. we're married, actually. You're married? Yeah. yeah, we're married. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah like, wow. freshly, freshly married. You got a beautiful <laughs> sister, by the way. Huh? You got a beautiful sister, by the way. Yeah, beautiful sister. Yeah. Uh, we're not from Alabama, eh? Like, we're from Europe, man. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah, some dummy, dummy, dummy. What are you, language school students or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. We go to university here. University. Oh, cool. We're studying here. Cool. Wonderful. Are you on Wonderful. Twitch? I'm on YouTube. I, I don't I ain't doing the Twitch thing, but uh, I'm on YouTube. Okay. Got some new subs right here. Oh, yeah, Shout out to subscribers. Uh, Why you? Is Wait, this you? that's not me. No, okay, that's, who the mind. fuck is this guy? <laughs> yo, I gotta report. Yo, can you report that dude for me? No, with the Z. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, go go, go for it. Where are you from, Z. man? Sorry. From America, America he dog. Said. Oh, We're America. In America. We're in America. This is me. Okay. Yes, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're what are you doing in Japan? I am currently a student. Where? Um, that's a secret. How old are you? Yes. Oh, uh, I would say 25. <laughs> 24. So that's what the students. Oh, 28. Oh, wow. So you're still wrong too. Yeah. I know, I'm an old guy. I'm okay. It's so okay. Age no, is just no. that number. Hey, that's, that's creepy, dude. What the hell, man? <laughs> so weird. We, well, I'm, I'm in the middle of shooting the video right now. I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. You guys came in and interrupt my video. So. I'm sorry. Now I'm off topic. The subscribers are angry. They're like, what the fuck is Marine doing? Come on, guys. I apologize. I'm getting them out of camera. So I'm sorry. You guys have a great night, though. It's great to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thank Take you so care. much. Like for Hopefully everything. I bump into you again or something. Yeah. Congratulations on winning your Switch, man. Thank you. So anyways, the fucking, the fucking, what was I talking? These fucking motherfuckers came and interrupted my video. I don't know what I was talking about now. What was the video about? Konbanwa. Sorry about that. I'm not talking about you guys. Hey, what's your channel? My channel is um, Young James. Young James. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You, you guys want to be at... Is hey, it weird shout, shout out Young James, baby. Yo, hey, where are you from? 
America. Where? Chicago. Oh, I'm Chicago. from San Francisco. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Small road, eh? Wait, you seem a little bit like uh, too manly to be from San Francisco. No, What's is that a thing? There? Look at that. I know. Hey, hey, hey. Too manly. That means you just got to visit, <laughs> huh? You just got to visit. Yeah. You yeah. got to go check it out. I'm going to say Sorry? San I'm Jose. from San Jose. San Jose? Okay, yeah. cool, man. Cool, cool. So, so tell the vlog. What are you doing yeah, out here, right? Right now, I'm searching for some box actually tonight. So, yeah? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Down there. <laughs> Down there. Oh, dude. <laughs> that's not box, bro. That's something else. I don't know right. that way. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Down there. I'm just All shooting right. vlogs, man. I'm just talking shit. I like cool. to come to this area because people interact with me and stuff like that and say funny things on camera. So, you guys have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah, take yeah. care. Take it easy, too. Yeah. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Thanks, man. You guys have a good trip. See ya. All right, for the love of God, what the fuck was I talking about? If you have a shitty job, try not to look at it, and it, maybe it's not your end goal and you don't want to work in that job forever. Try not to look at it in the sense of like, oh, I'm angry about this job, whatever, it sucks, I'm just a little bitch. Try to be like, wow, this is motivation for me to do something else, for to pursue my real, to pursue my real dreams, to pursue my real hobbies. So, anyways, guys, try to take some something from me. I, I hope you guys are inspired by this video or something like that. Thank you to all the people that just said what's up on camera. If you guys watch this, shout out to you guys. Um, otherwise, take care. You guys want to join my Discord, send me $5 into you know the drill. Shout me out on Instagram, whatever. Whatever, man. Alright. Peace out, y'all. Take care.